Guys, thanks for tuning in. I just got back from a little vacation and this was waiting for me. I can't wait to show you guys this. Uh, I think I already reviewed this, but this is the R version. So this is the, um, the Black Ox GX29R Renewal. What's up guys, it's Charles with Rocket Punch Army to do another review. So today we have the Solo Chogokin GX29R Black Ox Collector Grade. As you know, I like to buy the Collector Grades from BBTS when I can. It's only a couple bucks more. Again, you get the box, you get the uh, figure wrapped in plastic. For those of you that like to put stuff away, I don't. I just want to get nice little boxes um, for easier storage and to have a nice example of the figure itself. So here it is box is rather nice. It looks a little pale because of the um, wrap around it. It's not the most transparent wrap, but it does keep it safe. Uh, take a look at this right here in the back. And you got your usual stock photography in the back, which shows, uh, you know, Black Ox fighting Tetsujin here. And then it's got the LED feature. It's got the stands. It's got, I guess, the broken, hmm, broken antenna here. I don't know if that was on the other one, on the original. We'll check that out in a moment. I do have horrible memory. And I don't think it came with two figures. Again, we're going to check everything out. I haven't really opened this. I just took a snapshot of it. But I do have the original here. And you're wondering why I have a pair of Black Ox here. <laughs> the, the reason is I'm going to review them. Or I compare them, I should say. Uh, and this does have that little figure of the guy. I'll give you the name in a second. Let's look at the back here. So the back is not as um, exciting, I guess, as the newer one. The newer one looks nice and evil, full of destruction. And then this one's just like, hey, I'm Black Ox, hey. <laughs> got the spotlights behind me. Now, I am going to wear my gloves to handle these Black Ox. Because they are fingerprint magnets, if you can't already tell. I'm also going to compare the shininess. I feel like the new one might be a little glossier, or at least a little smoother. But uh, we'll go ahead and check that out and take a look. Hi guys, so here I have both of them out. Um, give you a second to try and guess which one is the R and which one is the original version. Alright, I'm not going to give you much more than that, but anyway. This is the R version. That is the original. Just looking at them like that, I can't really see a lot of difference. You know, that makes it worth buying the new one over the original. Um, I did want to look at the paint. The paint is obviously amazing on both. This, and I'm, just, I'm going to nitpick, it's just slightly more orange peel. And I don't mean that there's orange peel. It's just, I don't know. It's kind of hard to explain. This is pretty much glass smooth. And this one just has like orange peel. But it's not orange peel in the sense where it's like orange peel. If you guys know what I'm talking about. It's, just, it's still pretty freaking smooth. But if we're going to, you know, compare, I should let you know that. But they're both pretty much glass smooth upon first inspection. Like, in other words, if you got this one in your hand, you'd be like, wow, this is amazing paint. And then you get this one, amazing paint. But when you put them together, you could see a little bit of the difference. But anyway, so they both have the stands. I did notice the stands are pretty, pretty much identical. Except this one has a little square cutout right here. And that is for the little radio or the transmitter that comes with um, the set on the original. I'll show you this here. This little transmitter here, which I think, if I'm not mistaken, has a magnet in it, which causes the light feature to activate. Um, and this is not part of the new one. I'll show you the tray for the new one. The new one. Whoops. Let's knock that over. You see that? Because it's so slippery. Um, the new one does have a Dr. Franken figure and a Professor, Professor Shikishima and the hands, which I think are the same, so you get an extra, instead of the transmitter, I guess, you get the little Shikishima guy, but you do get the same kind of head looking thing. Now, I did hear something about the articulation on the, the head is better, so I want to take a look at that. So I guess the activation feature, whatever, the little light feature, it gets activated with the Tetsujin. So, of course, I didn't know that, so I didn't grab him out of storage, so can't show you that, but I'll try to show you with the little radio thing if it works on, on the new one. But let's take a look at the uh, neck articulation. So if we grab the original, this is the non-LED head. You can see the neck 
doesn't move up and down, only the head, which I found pretty strange that it's so limiting. In fact, when I first tried to do it, the whole entire assembly popped out. And the reason this pops out, because the other one has the LED feature in it. This one doesn't, it just pops in. Same features available on the other one. This little door tends to open up, you know, kind of loose, but it stays in when the figure is just at rest. It doesn't pop open. Let's take a look at this guy. This does have neck articulation, very slight, and it doesn't actually move the back part of it. So I guess it just, there's a little slot on there because you can see the neck, the base of the neck and the back of the neck doesn't move. It's just the head alone. So I think they just made a slot in there. And then, of course, you got the regular head articulation and the little trap door back here, which is still loose, but it's not as loose as the other one. So I'm noticing. Okay, so this is the first time I did this. It has the LED feature on this one. So let me see what the other head does. Oh, it actually doesn't do anything. It's actually the broken antenna one. So here it is. All right, so it is a little bit different than the original in the sense that the LED is already installed. And the regular head is this. That's in here. I don't think I need to pull this out, but this is the, or I'm sorry, the, the LED is not, what the hell am I doing? The LED is not installed in the original, unless it is out of the box, but the, the way I have it, all right, you got, you got the non-LED head and you got the LED head, all right? I don't know how it comes out of the box originally. You probably messed it up. But you have a regular head, LED head. This one, you don't get a regular head. You just get the LED head and you get the, um, the broken antenna one, which still has articulation and the head moves, uh, but obviously no little battery compartment there. So I'm don't think this comes with batteries. Of course it's not going to come with batteries, but might as well check it out. Wait, does it? Oh, wow, it actually does have batteries. Let's, uh, this is a first, I think. Look at that. It does have the LED. Now, I, I do recommend just watching a review of the original. I don't want to spend too much time uh, on the original. But uh, this is the other head, the LED head. It's got three positions, obviously off. Then it's got the on position, and it's got the position where if you uh, get this transmitter close to the figure, the eyes light up, which is which is kind of cool. But anyway, so you got the battle damaged, okay? So I think at this point, since uh, there's nothing else really to compare, it's got the same accessories minus um, Professor Shikishima. The older one has a bigger tray. They've only gone uh, with the styrofoam tray over the uh, figure itself. They both do have the caps that go into the screws, so a lot of people don't like to see the screws, the screw holes in the back. I don't mind them, so I like the way that makes a figure look. You can tell it's die cast because of that, die cast metal. Um, but yeah, so let's get this guy out of the way and just continue looking at the figure itself, as those are really the differences. All right, so it's not, as we saw, not much different. So anything I'm showing you now, you can see in the original video, but in case you don't feel like watching that one, it's a good idea to wear these gloves, but I showed you the articulation. Let's go over everything. We got the head, got the neck, got the shoulders. The shoulders are on there loose. I guess it allows more. Actually, it's not anything for articulation. They just you can hear them clicking around. Uh, the arms are ratcheted. You can see the metal joint in there for the arm, which is nice. This is one of the older Chogokins which were just full of die cast. Now there's a lot of plastic. This, I can tell you, is pretty much all metal. Anything you see that's black is metal, except for the shoulders and the head. And it's a hefty little bad boy here. So you lift up the arms. You can rotate the elbow here. You can bring up the elbow. It only goes about that far. You got the hands on a pop-in joint here, which you can spin. You can't really move them like this way. You got the waist, or the uh, ab crunch. And it's also side to side. You do have the waist swivel. You also have the leg that goes forward. Does this pop out? I'm not sure if these pop down. No, it doesn't look like they do. All right, guys, so I have to stop here. This is uh, later in the future after I realized I made a mistake. The legs do pull down. Uh, there's a little swivel on the crotch. I realized it too late. I'm sorry, guys. It's been a while since I handled the figure. And this one, I tugged on it prior to review, and I could not get it to open. But apparently... Just wasn't tugging hard enough, but <laughs> the uh, legs do fold up very nicely here. The crotch, it's kind of hard to tell in this picture, does open up a little bit. So it's got that little extension feature on the leg. So just be careful they don't bang into that part here. 
and then you got the ratcheted knee and then you have the feet here which are the same as all the other Tetsujins and then the spiked feet the cool thing about the spiked feet it doesn't stand on the spikes they actually go in they're spring loaded right and then to keep the springs from going weak they do have the little holes here so that the spikes aren't pushed in all the time which can weaken the springs and that's pretty much it guys but we're going to check out the the battle damage head so the battle damage head comes out uh, or goes in quite easily you just open this little hatch in the back and I say easily and then nothing happens all right, it's probably because it's brand new it's a little harder to take out but I slide the battle damaged one are you serious why can't it just go in easy like the other ones all right, so it seems like the new on the new one it seems to snap in better. Oh, you gotta hold it down on an angle. You can't just push it straight. It's gotta be on an angle. See? I'm afraid to push it in. It snaps in, and it's so hard to take out without pushing on the neck. But we'll do it for you guys. And that's it. That's the battle. Damage head. No, it sucks. I was gonna show you the comparison of these guys. I put them down. I can't tell which is which, but this one looks cleaner. Um. The printing on the eye, it's very hard to tell, but um, I don't have my little lens thing. But uh, overall the same, I noticed the radio sticks out more on the other, see what I mean? But I think it's just probably from the heat or something, this probably went down from storage, who knows, or it's, I don't think it's a different mold. Uh, there's a little, a couple of little things on the mold, little markings that are identical on both, so they probably come out of the same mold, but overall, identical. They didn't change colors on this at all it's all the same colors just slightly sharper printing on the newer one but not by much again this is a lot older um, and you also get the uh, professor Shikishima figure so I don't know if you want to stand it by that well you can't even see what I'm doing but yeah those are the two figures you get and here are the plugs I was talking about guys you can actually plug up the holes on the figure if it bothers you that's pretty much it. Uh, again, it's not, it wasn't going to be a huge review on this guy. It's not a lot of accessories, but it is awesome to handle and hold and have on display. So if you want to pick one of these up, you can grab them uh, in the uh, description below. And I want to thank my Patreon supporters for making this review possible. All right. And if uh, you're enjoying what I do, the content, you want me to bring more, please uh, support the channel by clicking like, sharing, making comments, keeping the algorithms going and maybe uh, even uh, support my Patreon. Uh, and that's it, guys. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. Until next time, bye-bye.